What's a UPS? You might ask. Well, I bought one and I'll tell you all about it and then we'll install it there. So I'm now back here at my server room, cupboard. It's in the Lego room, but there's a cupboard that has server stuff in it. And here I have a UPS. So there's a few reasons why I use a UPS. Um, first of all, I live on a farm in the middle of nowhere in Australia. Power grid is not 100% stable. <laughs> so I need a UPS, uninterruptible power supply to, well, have power when the power goes out, right? So when there's a power outage, this will keep going. Um, so there, for example, there's a display here that'll tell me I have 43, 44 minutes of power estimated if the power cuts. So that's based on what it's using now, what the things that are plugged into it are using now. Um, but you might say, well, Lars, I don't have any power outages where I live. It's very stable. Yes, possibly. But something like brownouts, so if there's, you know, power goes do like something like really quickly within a second, maybe, that can cause real, real havoc with networking equipment. Especially, I've found the dream machines. The switches, not so much. They seem to be able to cope sort of with on and off, but the dream machines, ugh, not so much. So it protects against that as well. And it protects against something like surges, like lightning strikes or surges in the power, because everything is plugged into the UPS the power is delivered from the UPS, from the batteries in it, and not from the actual grid. So anything that comes into the UPS is sort of, you know, filtered, if you want, and you get really clean, um, consistent power out of it. And that's really important. So it, for a number of reasons, power outages, brownouts, power surges, right? There's, there's certain reasons why you would want to use it. Um, now, the one I have here is a CyberPower. That's a brand. I've had this for about two and a half years now, maybe almost three years, it's been flawless, I can't fault it. So when the power goes out, which does happen, it starts beeping and it tells you how long you have to go. Um, but, you know, I'll show you here, it also has, um, here's the time, it has the uh, event, so that since the last event, 89 minutes, something happened, I didn't even notice. Um, input, 238 volts, etc. output. There's the hertz, the frequency of it, um, the output in watts, here's the output in VA, so volt amps, it's another way of measuring uh, power and that's usually how you get them um, spec'd. When you look them up online it'll say oh it's you know, 900 VA or 800 VA or whatever. So these, mine in this case runs about 45 minutes, often they'll only run 10, enough so you have time to shut things down if you need to, right? This is not meant to be running forever. For that, we have a generator, yeah, which is another thing. Generator is not always perfect in the power it outputs. It goes up and down. So UPS again makes sort of cleans the power. Um, and then we also have the output in percent, what percentage? I'm not actually sure what that is. And uh, output in VA. And here's how much battery. So it's 100% battery. And estimated runtime again. Um, and you can see what the load is up here again on the full display very low load it's running in eco mode it's got a flower on it i'm sure that's good i don't know um and then you can power stuff via usb on the front as well um, and you can silence the alarm and you can control it here a few things you can press uh, not right now actually but when it's beeping so let's go up to the office and we'll install the second ups because there isn't one up there and i'll show you more what's on the back and how to plug things in etc this is the UPS that I have bought. Uh, it was on special on eBay. It was about 200 bucks Australian, roughly, something like that. Uh, it's a cyber power, and I forget the size of it now. <laughs> I think it says on here. Uh, no, because they put a label of it. Uh, I think it's about 900 VA, and the one in the server cabinet is 1300 VA, so that's sort of the capacity of the batteries, volt, amps, etc. With this setup, it should give me about half an hour of power, I think, um, but let's see. So, yeah, here's the box, it comes like this. It weighs about eight kilos, they're pretty heavy because it's all batteries. Um, I haven't actually opened it yet, so this will be interesting. There you go. Ooh. 
It comes with a USB cable because you can actually plug it directly into, if you have a desktop, for example, and you want just a UPS for your desktop, you could plug it in and it comes with software, um, Power Manager, I think it's called, which you can then run on your PC and you actually make your PC shut down if there's low power, so that's kind of handy. Doesn't work with the network setup that I have, so I'm not using that um, particular um, software. But here's the cyber power, uh, here's the unit, it looks like that. So there's a display on the front here, um, just like, you know, here's a bit of ASMR for you. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the unit. Um, on the front, there's the, it's a little bit different, looks a little bit different. The other one has USB uh, on the front, this one doesn't, but it has a display. Um, and the alarm silencer and the control button, like the other one. But in the back, there are six Australian plugs, obviously, because we're in Australia. Um, and there's actually a LAN as well. This is kind of neat. So if you are, if you want to just hook it up to one computer, you can run and you get cable in from outside somewhere. You can um, power something with an in and an out so that you have powered LAN that goes in through this one. Um, here's the USB, so that's if you want to plug in your USB, you can do it there. Um, and then there's a the reset button, and there's the power for the actual thing. So, um, it all runs 10 amp, by the way. They're 10, 10 amp plugs, it might be important to you. Hopefully you won't have to power it in there, it's more, it uses more than 10 amp. But this is a, uh, it's not an commercial one. If I had more money, I would have bought a rack mounted one for up here. But they're expensive, um, but that would have made it even neater. This will do just fine for my application. Um, but that's it. That's all it is. It's pretty simple. Um, you can't, I think you can replace the batteries if you really wanted to. Haven't tried that yet, but you can. So let's put it on the, let's install it here. But first, make sure we power down things properly. Yeah, so do that. Oh, well, I'll do that. And then I'll come back and we'll install it and get it all running. And we have UPS. So first I'm going to power off the NVR. Uh, if you want to know more about Network Video Recorder, I made a video on that, which is linked just up there. So go and check that out. Um, but I'm going to power this down gently. So console settings, and I have turn off. This is a very good idea. This is why we're installing a UPS, so that we can do this gracefully. We don't cut power to it. Hard drives don't like that. They get just, you know, um, corrupted, etc. So turn off. Let's go, are you sure? Are you sure? It will no longer be accessible. So yeah, we want to power it down. So that's the first step. And then we're going to power down the switch. Um, and then we've got, we powered down everything that's going to be powered in there. So the rest is powered by PoE from the switch. So that'll be fine. And console's powering off. So I'm going to go to the switch here, which is there. Offers PO, 24 PoE switch. And if you want to know more about what that is, I also made a video on that. It's a completely silent switch, fanless which is also linked there. So go check that out if you want to know more about that particular switch. So I go to settings and under, uh, no, that's right. There is no restart. I forgot about that. I didn't mention before that it's pretty resilient. There is no power down on the switch. You just plug the power off. Like you just pull the plug basically. So I'm going to do that, but very important to do with NVR. It does not like to be powered off um, without you know, notice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's right. Switches you can't power off, you just yank the power. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I re-remembered. Anyway, we'll go and install the UPS now. Yeah. Alright, NVR is powered down. It doesn't actually power down, it just lets you, power, you know, disconnect the power. And the switch, we're just going to unplug. And um, do a bunch of cabling, and then we plug it all in, turn it on. Okay, 
I think it's plugged in, so um, <laughs> turn the switch on and hopefully it all just powers on. Yes. Uh, here we go. And possibly. Ah, I had to hold it in. Ha, there you go. Hold in the power button. See, now it's on. Yay. Input 243 volt. Okay, so now I can turn this on. Well, actually the, oh, the battery's full. So this one came fully charged. Didn't expect that. I'm gonna turn it on, the power board inside the um, server cabinet, and these two should power on. Yep, USW is starting. White light. Oh, I think we're onto a winner. Okay. Um, right, let me just get the camera closer and I'll show you what the display says. Hang on. Sorry for the seasickness. All right, so here is the display running. If I click on it here, we get 242 volts in. Oh, disappeared, come back, there we go. And we have output 242, good. 500, oh, 500, 50 hertz, 500 hertz, that'd be interesting. And 113 watt output, okay. 126 VA. Still don't know what this volt percentage is, but anyway. Maybe it's of the entire volt budget, could be. Um, 100% and 22 minutes we get, 21 minutes. Let's see when everything is powered up. It might be different, but 20 minutes, I can live with that. I have enough time to shut things off properly, etc. if I need to. Um, but yeah, um, it seems to be working. See, it's all happy. Starting up. Come on, focus. Oh, we do this. Yeah, that's that started up. The UNVR is still flashing, so that's probably... Oh, there we go. It's blue. Yay. So now it's all up and running. We have the light there, and it's all happy. Fantastic. There we go. UPS installed. Yay. UPS. Yay. Um, yes, to recap, you want a UPS. For here, it's power outages, is like big, the big one, but also brownouts. They're really bad for something like an NVR. They've got spinning drives, you don't wanna just cut the power to it or have power go in and out, it's bad. UPS will make sure that that is all smooth and sanitized and delicious for that. Um, but also power surges, lightning strikes, those sort of things will also be protected um, through UPS. So it's just, it's a cheap investment really, a couple hundred bucks and it'll you know, protect your much more expensive equipment um, for years to come. So that's why I use it. And now we have two and probably gonna have one more to protect even more equipment, but let's see how, we, how that pans out. As always, if you've got questions, put them down below, um, especially around UPSs and other ways of using, using UPS or other products. Maybe I only have experience with the CyberPower, which is a great name. Um, and also, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe. That's the button down below that says subscribe. Press now, I'll wait. Anyway, see you in the next video.